Hello and welcome. I'm Phil, living here in Sheffield, in England. It has been quite a while since my last YouTube video upload. I'll show you what I have on my bench for repair. This little gem is a region tone model DP2 radio receiver. It was uh, released onto the UK market June 1956, costing nine pounds seven shillings and fourpence. That is nine pounds thirty-seven pence in today's money, plus purchase tax. It is a two-band model, those being long and medium waves, and it has capability for AC and DC operation. The wave band ranges it covers are 187 to uh, 570 meters and uh, 1150 to uh, 2000 meters. I very much uh, suspect this radio has lain a good number of years on a shelf in a cold, non-vintage radio friendly environment. As can be seen, the plastic cabinet is somewhat grubby. Only to be expected, I suppose. But uh, a cursory inspection did not reveal any uh, stress cracks which I'll say has to be a positive. Whenever I see this model of radio at uh, steam fairs, auto fests, vintage radio fairs, ham fests, swap meets and the likes, a generous 85% of them are beat up and more or less worth very little in monetary terms. When I bought this radio for a mere few quid and uh, fair words, I felt I'd uh, picked up a bargain. I'll now turn it around, move its back cover and show you what it looks like inside. It sure is very dirty inside, but I've uh, worked in a lot worse. Not only is there a lot of uh, dust, cobwebs and dead insects, there are also pet hairs. Being a registered asthmatic and diagnosed as allergic to cats, dogs and birds, I'll get my wife, when the time comes, to vacuum all of that crud out of there for me. At the time I was paying the vendor for this radio, I could hear something rattling around inside. It was the uh, ferrite aerial rod that had uh, come adrift from its uh, fixing. The uh, mains lead has uh, been uh, cut off. That was done with uh, safety in mind. And uh, this is the replacement mains lead. I intend to fit once the uh, cabinet and chassis has uh, been dusted. There is something I forgot to mention. The large knob at the front. It should have a uh, brass skirt around the uh, front edge. I have an idea I might have one of those uh, tucked away somewhere. It'll be safe in a drawer, no doubt. I've also a shrewd feeling the tuning knob neck will be damaged in some way. I can't remember the last time I saw one that was intact, but it has to be uh, over 35 years ago. I'll not disturb it until I have to. Whilst on the subject of control knobs, the one on the left is for on-off volume 
and the one on the right is for the uh, band switch and yes despite being a different colour to the cabinet they are original though I've owned a fair number of this model of radio during past years I no longer own any other example it is my objective by the end of this repair series to get this radio functional and cosmetically fair. After that I will at leisure administer further refinements as and when resources permit. Before retiring for the night I want to bring to all viewers attention the following. I urgently stress the importance of understanding and being au fait with electricity, electronics as well as electrical and electronic equipment. Your safety along with everyone else's safety is of paramount importance. Electricity is lethal. Take no chances. Please be absolutely aware. If you follow along with whole or any part of this region tone model DP2 repair series, you do so at your own risk. Since the time is almost 20 past 3 in the morning, I feel it is now time for some uh, shut eye. Before that I'll make myself a cup of tea to drink whilst I'm in a wash and getting into my night attire. So I'll bid you good night, or more aptly, a good morning. <laughs> so please join me again for part two. Until then, bye bye.